Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a very important topic from our syllabus and the topic is integration of ICT in education. Before defining ICT or what is the role of ICT, we have to make clarity about the concept of information communication technology. In the era of knowledge-based society, technical education system has a significant role. In the fast developing society, education for all is impossible, but only possible with the help of information communication technology. With the development of new technologies, ICT have opened new perspectives in teaching learning process within and outside the classrooms. With the development of ICT in the field of education, the traditional education system is totally changed from teacher-centered to the learner-centric approach. In the past, most more stress was given on the theoretical aspect as compared to the practical aspects. The research shows that ICT improved teaching learning process and it has a significant positive impact on student in relation to the achievement. Learner can learn better when he she construct her own knowledge. Proceeding to the next slide, I would like to discuss the different nodes of information communication technology. Basically, nodes are the peripheral devices connected at the system to assess information at source and destination. These are the peripheral devices connected in the system. These are modem, satellite, camera, desktop, these are in N numbers. Now concentrate on the main point that is ICT. What is ICT? We have to understand the basic concept of ICT. ICT refers to the technologies that provide access to information through telecommunication system. We can say that ICT is a set of technology developed to manage information and send it from one place to an other place. Uh, moving to the next slide. Here is a basic definition of ICT. ICT is a set of technological tools and resources used for communicating, creating, disseminating, storing, and transmitting information. Now concentrate on colored words, communicating. Here communicating means what to communicate we have to communicate data among the students creating what to create we have to develop e-content disseminating what to disseminate we have to spread information among the students storing what to store we have to store information in the form of data transmitting how to transmit we have to broadcast we have to broadcast information among the students. So from this discussion, we can conclude that ICT is a set of technological tools, resources used for creating, communicating, disseminating, storing, and transmitting information. Moving to the next slide. Here we are going to discuss ICT in education and we will try to discuss point wise. Instrumental in addressing the demand and supply. ICT is filling a gap between the source of knowledge and the learner. Learner can assess plenty of e-resources for the fact gathering to construct a new knowledge according to the need and requirement. ICT changed the nature of educational process. Now in these days, we are facing a big challenge and threat of COVID-19 due to this emergency 
all educational institutions worldwide are closed. I would like to thank to the teacher community. In spite of emergency, almost all educational institutes providing education to the learners with the help of ICT. MOOC and Swine courses. MOOC means massive open online courses and it only becomes possible by integrating ICT in education. There is a strong recommendation of university grant commissions for a country to provide a quality education to the masses on different platforms. MOOC and Swine both provides an ICT integrated platform for online courses to the learners. Access to remote resources. ICT playing a role of a bridge to assess remote learning resources with the help of information communication technologies. With the use of information communication technologies, we can assess remotely the resources available at the destination places. Immediate effective feedback. ICT is a powerful tool and it is playing pivotal role in transformation of education among the masses. With the use of information communication technology, we can provide effective immediate feedback to the learners. Blended learning or blend of materials. Blended learning model is a combination of teacher, pedagogy, e-technology and learner. Teacher develop dynamic learning environment by facilitating learner with e-content which generate curiosity among learners to learn more. Mobile learning. Now in these days, smartphone work like as a computer system and facilitating all the learners in many ways to enhance the knowledge. Now mobile becomes an effective tool of learning in the hands of students. Online digital learning platform. There are plenty of online digital learning platforms from where we can assess information in the form of e-content, video, audio, and any other information according to the need and requirement of each individual. Next, that is the availability of content. ICT has a availability to transcend time and space. ICT makes possible asynchronous learning. Now, no need to worry about the time lag between the delivery of instructions and reception by the learner. Next, we will discuss trends of ICT in the field of education. Again, we discuss point wise role of ICT in transforming higher education system. ICT is playing a big role in transforming higher education imparted by other di different universities to the next level. Need of the students. Students who find it difficult to come to the campus due to the employability, family responsibilities, health issues or other time constraints only online education is the solution for them. ICT as an learning tool. ICT helps to create a social, highly collaborative and personalized environment with innovative solutions that enhance the learning of the learner. Collaborative and personalized environment. With the help of ICT, we can provide collaborative and personalization, personalized environment to the learners in different ways. ICT provide an opportunity to learner to work together for all students, teachers, experts without 
any boundaries irrespective of culture caste field of education society and country innovative solutions we can provide number of solutions to a single problems we can provide variety of content for concept formation so innovation we can provide number of books or e line e books for the better understanding of the concept digitalization of books again ict playing a big role to making books digital format so that masses can access the resources available in our libraries so very important point url and embed code or embedded code digital books while using e book learner can access the direct link when learner click on the url or embedded code it will open the primary source for more information from there learner can assess more information according to the need requirement and pace of learning online course contents plenty of online course content available on the world wide web every individual can assess according to the need requirement and use it in the teaching learning situations content delivery using ict for teachers content delivery become a very easy with the integration of information communication technology in the field of education now we can reach to the masses without any boundaries oer the full form of oer is that is open educational resources oer are the teaching learning and research resources that resides on a public domain forever we can freely access text media and other digital data for the use of technical learning process or teaching learning process free access to the educational resources we have already discussed under the oer next ndl ndl is that is a national digital library of india from where we can assess different type of resources including books articles journals videos audios theses and other educational materials ndl provides us to assess peer reviewed journals bibliographic data covering subject such as arts community commerce technology and sciences now we will discuss advantages of ict in education student centric learning by integrating ict in teaching learning situations now students can learn according to their ability capability and pace of learning sporting in knowledge construction worldwide research has shown that ict improved student learning and better teaching methods by integrating technology to the curriculum we can find significant and positive impact on students achievement any place learning any time learning world wide web remain open for all the time so learner can assess information anywhere and at any time this means you can assess information any time anywhere as per your need and convenience you can assess as per the requirement of needs you can read the content according to the pace of learning asynchronous mode this method can be carried out 
online as well as offline. Asynchronous learning involves coursework delivered by web, email, messages board that are posted on a common platform. Student can assess subject matter anytime when they log into the system. Synchronous mode of learning. This kind of learning can only happen online. In this mode, learners stay connected directly with the teacher and the peer students. System allows to the students to ask the questions to the teacher and peer groups and vice versa, they can get immediate feedback on the asked questions. Communication process, as we know that uh, ICT playing a big role in communication process. We are communicating in so many forms. Uh, next is greater availability. We have already discussed 24 into 7 availability of the content. Next, we are going to conclude our topic by saying that we have to make maximum use of ICT in teaching learning at all the educations, which may lead to the quality enhancement. From this, we have to shift traditional teaching and learning to online and virtual environment learning. Teachers should adapt new technologies and recent trends in technologies. Policy makers incorporate compulsory ICT subject at school levels though, so that interest can be developed in the beginning of the students. Hope you all enjoy the lesson. If you, you face difficulty or problem, you can drop message on my WhatsApp number as well as you can make a mail for the more comprehensive notes on this topic. Thanks.